everybody. Good morning. This is Jean. Um, real, real quick. I just wanted to show you something. Um, I had made this quilt um, a while ago and I just sold it. So before it was going out the door, I'm just running out to the post office now. I wanted to show you actually um, how I've often said I use rickrack a lot. I just wanted to show you real quick in this quilt how I use rickrack. Um, these, these was, this was um, some appliques that I actually had gotten uh, from a Facebook group that I belong to. They're the um, um, Volkswagen, like all pop art, 1960s. And then I just alternated um, the applique, which I just raw, I just raw edged applique on them. Um, I just met, they, these, these appliques came um, as a whole, the um, Volkswagen appliques, the bus and the bug. Um, and then I had had, I had been collecting all sorts of, uh, oh, from a fabric line about 15 years ago, these sort of like a, a pop art 1960s uh, print. And then I just, um, I just bordered it again with a, a beautiful fabric that I bought ages ago. Um, and then I bound it with a black and white, but what I wanted to, and the bright hot pink. So it's a fun, lively quilt. But what I wanted to show you is how um, you can really make a quilt come alive between, instead of um, sashing, actually I put white sashing between the blocks, but then I just, I just wavy stitched a rickrack onto, um, all different color rickrack onto the sashing in between the blocks, just to add for this, um, quilt. It just adds a pop, a punch of color. I like Rick Rack, as you know. I just think it adds just this bright touch, whimsical. It's not for a serious quilt. It's not for, um, like a serious people, I guess. I don't know. Uh, it's just for like fun. I like Rick Rack. And again, hot pink and orange and blue. And this is, um, when I go to the store, I get, I usually get jump. It's called Jumbo Rick Rack. <clears throat> It's slightly larger than your regular, but I have used, I've used baby rickrack, medium sized jumbo, and you can even get at um, specialty places a rickrack that's like an inch wide. Oh, it's fabulous. Big, thick, chunky rickrack if you look hard enough. So anyway, I'm going to be selling, I'm going to be going to the post office now. Um, and I've sold it and I just wanted to show you how you can really, um, make your quilts go uh, yet again to to your level um they're so they're not just samey same boring add a touch of trim rick rack cording um oh, a lady was asking me I, I i sometimes put cording on the seam and i do that with just a small zigzag stitch even a satin cording or you can on some machines there's it's called a couching stitch um again you have to look at your manual you can just you can just have add the cording very loosely and then just let your machine affix it of course you're going to see the stitches if you come up here you see these you see the stitches on my rickrack i'm not making it like oh i'm trying to make it invisible of course not you can't do that so i just do a wavy stitch and attach it um to my my quilt so um yeah, so I'm going to get to go to the post office now and get this to a lady in Arizona, actually. Why does she need a quilt? It's hot in Arizona. <laughs> anyway, I'm so pleased. Um, so there you go. Just my little tip for the day. Get some rickrack and stick it on your quilts. Bye.